There it is. Look at that. Unbelievable. Very, very easy. So that's at least one of Devin's main demos recreated in Devika. All right, I finally got Devika working and we now have another open source clone of Devin. This is a fully featured AI coding assistant that comes with everything you need to code with AI. So this is the interface. On the left, we have the chat. On the right, we have the browser and the terminal. We have our logs right here so we could see everything. And we have settings, which doesn't work. So just like Open Devin, this is a very early project, but they are moving incredibly fast. Just a few days ago, I couldn't get it working at all and the interface was completely completely broken. But now the interface looks a lot better. They support a lot more models, a lot more search engines, and things are really coming along. So I'm super excited to see where this project goes. So today I'm going to show you a little bit about it, and then I'm going to show you how to install it and use it. So this is the calculator app that I just built. It is not pretty. These numbers are not in order, and it's horizontal which is kind of weird, but it works. This is all done in zero shot. A simple prompt was all I need. Build a calculator app with a UI. So Devika says, I'm outlining a plan to build a calculator app with a UI. Here's the plan. Choose the programming language. Step two, set up the environment. Design the UI. Use CSS, et cetera, et cetera. All the way down to, I think I can proceed without searching the web, which is great. And I have completed my task. And here we go. They are actually using Vim to do the coding. So you can simply use this to build any application that you want. And again, it is quite buggy still, but it is making great progress. Up in the top, you could see whether you have access to the internet or not. I think that's whether you actually have the server up and running. You have the token usage. You could select your search engine. They now support more search engines. I'm using Google. I'll show you how to set that up. You can also select your different models. So they support the Claude models. Gemini, Grok, which is super fast, although I couldn't get these to work well. And there was actually a race condition issue, so I suspect Grok might actually maybe be too fast for Devika, but we'll see. They have the Mistral models, which is great. We can power it locally, of course, with Olama, and we have OpenAI GPT-4 and GPT-3.5. I'll show you how to set all of this up. And then after it was done, here it is. Here's the index.html, here's the script.js, and the style.css, all done in under one minute. Now, granted, this is a very simple application, but it shows that this is working and that this project has great potential. So just to show you that it works, here's eight times eight, equals 64. All right, let me show you how to install it now. The first thing you're going to do is open up VS Code, and we are going to CD to the desktop or wherever you like to store your new projects. From there, we're going to clone Devika. So git clone and then the Devika GitHub URL. And if you switch back to the Devika GitHub page, you click this green code button and then copy right here. That's where you can find that URL. And I'll drop this link in the description below. Then hit enter. Now we're going to use Conda to create a new Python environment. So conda create dash n devica python equals 3.10 hit enter. Now I already have one named to that. So I'm going to go ahead and overwrite it or remove it. And you won't see this error unless you already have that environment. So go ahead and click OK. OK, now that that's done, you're going to highlight this right here. And it's going to be paste conda activate devica hit enter. And then you can see it's active because it says so right there. Now we're going to CD into devica. And then we're going to type which Python. So we're just making sure that we're always installing things with the right Python environment. So which Python. So you're going to copy whatever gets output there, paste it, then type dash M pip install dash R requirements.txt and then hit enter. All right, once that's done, we're going to do playwright install dash dash with dash depths. And to install playwright, you're going to type npm init playwright at latest and then hit enter. And then it says, do you want to use TypeScript or JavaScript? We'll use TypeScript. And if you don't have NPM installed, you can probably use Brew to install NPM, but simply just Google it and you'll find out it's very easy to install NPM. And then hit enter a few times and then it will install Playwright. All right, done. Now we're going to install with Playwright. So Playwright install dash dash with dash depths, hit enter. Then we're going to CD into UI and then we're going to NPM install. Next, we're going to do bun run dev. And again, if you don't have bun installed, you got to install it. And just a quick note on how to install it, you're going to type curl 
dash f s capital s l https colon slash slash bun dot sh slash install pipe and then bash and then hit enter but i already have it installed so i'm going to skip that then we're going to type bun run dev to spin it up okay so that worked there's our local host 3000 but we're not done we actually need to spin up the back end so go ahead click right here open up a new terminal we're going to conda activate devica again so then we're going to cd into the devica folder so cd desktop slash devica hit enter and then we're going to spin up the back end by typing python devica.py and then hit enter and sometimes this takes a few minutes because it's downloading a sentence transformer model okay so loading sentence transformer burt models loaded and it should be almost done olama not available Okay, because we're not running an Olama model right now. So I'm going to show you two more things. Once I show you that it's working, I'm going to show you how to run it with Grok Mixtral and just how fast that is. And then I'm going to show you how to power it with Olama. All right, so Devika is up and running. Switch back to that dev tab right over here. We're going to hold down our command and then click the localhost button. And there's Devika. All right, so it's up and running. But we're not done. We actually need to fill out our environment variables. So come back to VS Code. You're going to click the Explorer button and we're going to click Open Folder desktop and then just open Devika. Now, unfortunately, I think that actually closes all the previous terminals, which is kind of silly, but it does. So let's make sure that we are using our conda environment, Devika. All right. So this time, for some reason, I have a config.toml file already, and we also have the sample. Last time I did this, it wasn't there. So I, maybe I did something different this time, but look for this config.toml. If you don't have it, just rename the sample.config.toml to simply config.toml. Okay, this is where you're going to fill out all your environment variables. So here's all the different models that you can use. And then here's Olama if you wanted to power it locally. For now, let's try Grok. So I'm gonna put my Grok API key right there. I'm gonna click save. And the next thing you wanna do is grab your search key. So we are going to use Google search. And so go to developers.google.com slash custom dash search slash v1 slash introduction. Then right here, it says get a key. Click that button. We're going to select a project. I already have one, Devika. Click next. And then we're going to show the key. We're going to copy the key. So we come back to VS Code. We're going to highlight this and we're going to paste it right in there. Now we also need the search engine ID. So you're going to come to programmable search engine.google.com slash control panel slash all. And you can create a new search engine right here. Once you create it, you're going to click into it and you're gonna grab this search engine ID. So copy that. You're gonna come back to VS Code. You're gonna highlight this and paste it right there where it says Google search engine ID. Then you save. And we should be more or less done now. So let's spin up our servers again. So we're going to do Python devica.py, hit enter, and it should spin up faster this time. And while that's going, we're gonna click this plus button. We're going to conda activate devica again. We're going to CD into the UI. And then we're going to do bun run dev and that'll spin up the front end. Okay. So Devika's is up and running. Devika's is up and running. Going to hold down command, click on this link and it should be ready to go. There we go. Sweet. So select project. We're going to click new project. We're going to type game of life because we'll create that one again for the select search engine. Go ahead and click Google for select model. I'm going to select grok mixtral. And then let's try to create it. Create the game of life in Python with a UI, then hit send. Okay, so this should be lightning fast. Yep, browsing the web. I don't think I've actually browsed the web before, so let's see if this works. Okay, so I got the same error as I got last time. Playwright sync API inside the sync IO loop. This seems to only happen when I'm using Grok. So I, that's why I'm kind of thinking this might be a race condition. Okay, so I couldn't get Game of Life working with Grok Mixtral, and it was actually due to a bug in Devika, but I was able to get it working with ChatGPT. So let me show you that now. So I'm gonna select a new project. I'm gonna call it Game of Life because that was one of the demos of Devon. So I'm still gonna use Google and I'm gonna use GPT-4 Turbo. So I'm gonna keep it pretty short. Create a Python project that makes the game of life. And we can see again, all of the output right here. So it's probably waiting for OpenAI to reply right now. And I'll also show you Mixtral on Grok just to show you how fast that is. All right, so it is working. I'm thrilled to outline a plan. For some reason, it's outputting twice right here in the chat, but that's okay. So research the game of life, set up the environment, et cetera, et cetera. I think I can proceed without searching the web. That's good. And Devika has kind of a personality. So, okay, diving into the game of life, it's a classic. First up, I'll refresh my understanding of the rules. All right, so it is... Echo waiting just to make sure the terminal worked. 
All right, and it says it completed the task. So that was really fast. And it created a requirements.txt file. So let's test it out. Let's see if it works. So I'm opening a new VS code. I'm in the Devica folder. Then I go to data, projects, game of life and then I'm gonna hit open. Here are the requirements, and here is the code. So let's see if it works. So I'm gonna open up the terminal, and I'm gonna do pip install dash r requirements.txt. Looks like most of it's already installed, and then python main.py. There it is. Look at that, unbelievable, very, very easy. So that's at least one of Devin's main demos recreated in Devika. Now let me show you how to set it up completely locally. Go to olama.com, click download and install olama if you don't already have it running. Now I'm gonna leave the front end up but I'm gonna shut down the back end server. I'm gonna click plus and I'm gonna type olama list. And that should give me a list of the Olama servers running if it is up and running. So there we go. We have Mistral latest. That's fine. And that will also spin up Olama if you don't already have it running. Okay, now that we know Olama is up and running, we're going to switch back. We're going to spin up the back end again, Python Devica.py. It already has the API endpoint for Olama local right there, which is perfect. Then up in the top right, I'm gonna click the model drop down. We're gonna scroll down. I'm gonna select Olama. So I had to refresh the page. I'm gonna select a project, new project, game of life, two. Hit OK, search engine, Google, select a model. Now we see Mistral is available under the Olama tab. So let's select that. And I'm gonna type create the game of life using Python with a UI and then hit enter. And so this should be running completely locally now. Yep, and there it is, awesome. So this is completely local. All right, browsing the web. Let's see if this actually works though. All right, so I did actually get that playwright issue again. And now that I'm thinking about it, I actually think it has to do with searching Google possibly. But it did find a Reddit link for T. Kinter. So it did do the Google search correctly, but when it got down to actually writing it again with the browser, it failed. But local models now work perfectly. So you can run this completely locally. So again, it's a little bit buggy, but but they're making great progress. Thank you so much to the Devica team and everybody who's contributing for building another awesome project. I can't wait to see where AI coding assistants go. The rate of maturing is just super impressive. If you liked this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.